In 1995, a film was made that would launch the careers of Johnny Lee Miller and Angelina Jolie. This was Hackers, a film about teenagers that are wrongfully accused of hacking a supercomputer, causing oil tankers to capsize. Well, the film's director was at a special screening in Southampton, and our reporter Richard Stringer caught up with him afterwards. As part of the showcase event cinema screenings, the 1995 movie Hackers was shown with an exclusive question and answer session with the film's director, Ian Softley. I came down from London today to um, do a Q&A session at the end of uh, Hackers, a film I made about 11 years ago. And Mark Commode, who doesn't live too far away, uh, agreed to come and uh, actually be the question master. And Mark's an old friend of mine, so it was uh, really great to see it and chat to the audience. There's no substitute for the immersive experience of watching it with another group of people where you all make that commitment together um, and just, there's something, something happens when you see it in a, in, a, in a large room on a big screen in the company of other people and that's, uh, there's a kind of an, an alchemical reaction that, that, that happens. So, the, so but the film looks completely different and the experience is different than if you just see it in your living room. Throughout the film there are scenes depicting cyberspace and at a time when the studios were pushing more for computer generated effects, Ian chose to go down a more practical route. Pretty much all the effects were practical. Um, we shot it on 35mm so it's a very very punchy, beautiful, rich colour palette um, and uh, I chose for the, for the sort of digital world to create that as if it was a real world because this is a story that takes where it's like a sort of you know good guys being chased by the bad guys uh, and I wanted this sort of virtual world to feel as real as possible so we actually created real sets um, which is a lot of the most successful some of the most beautiful um, visual effects films have, have, have employed that that uh, technique of using models um, and, and, and real, real light to, to create those effects. The, the, the digital world can always be even, even though it can uh, create um, very, very elaborate worlds, there's something slightly, slightly kind of sterile about it, I think. Some directors are quite select with the types of films that they make, and each of Ian's movies are quite different from each other. Yeah, I think not repeating yourself is important, but I think there's a, um, when I kind of step back and look at all the films that I've done, I think that they have similar, a lot of them have similar themes, but they those themes expressed in different genre. And, and, and um, the filmmakers that I most admire, like Stanley Kubrick, also did that them, themselves. They, uh, um, you know, Kubrick did comedy, he did science fiction, um, he did war films. Uh, and I think that, but, but, but they're still Kubrick films and they still embrace the themes and the ideas that, that, that interested him. And for all you budding filmmakers out there, Ian has some advice. I think the surefire way to make a step into making films is to have your own idea and, and preferably your own script because then somebody sees what it is that you want to, uh, what your vision is um, and you're kind of halfway there really. I think watching, going to the cinema a lot, um, I think going to the theatre as well is important because actors are such an important part and you really get to see actors on the stage. Um, but it's really to have something fresh to say, um, you know, to have your own, have your own stories, uh, because filmmaking is a storytelling medium. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.